guys, it's producer Blaze. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to be doing the top 5 client side mods for Minecraft 1.17 and 1.17.1. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first mod today is called Freelock. Basically, what this mod does is if you press the letter M on your keyboard, you can go into third person view and move the camera around freely. And yeah, that's basically it, so on to the next mod. Okay, so the next mod is called Slot Lock. So I have this oak log in my inventory, and say I want this oak log to stay in this slot so I can't drop it or move it around my inventory or pick it up or put it anywhere. Well, what you do is you just hover over it and press left alt. And now the slot is locked. So I can press Q, it won't come out. I can click it, it won't come out. There's no way to get it out of this slot except for placing it. So this mod is really simple. Now on to the next mod. Okay, so our next mod is called Easier Villager Trading. Again, this mod is really simple and all this mod does is it makes uh -huh. trading a lot faster. All you need to do to trade is one tap and you will have the item that you were trading for. So no need to go in here and then shift click over here. And it makes it a lot faster to trade with villagers, especially if you are doing a trading haul. On to the next mod. Okay, so the next mod is called Isometric Renders. This mod allows you to create 3D renders of anything in the game. So what you can do is do slash ISO render in chat, choose one of these things you would like to render. So I'm gonna do an entity then choose what entity or what thing you would like to render and then go ahead and enter that and there you go now you can go ahead and mess with some of these settings if you would like now for certain animated entities and blocks you can go ahead and enable animations and stop it wherever you'd like to get whatever position you want it to be in. and then you can just go ahead and render it okay so the final mod today is called monsters in the closet basically what this mod does is if it's nighttime and you can't sleep because there are monsters nearby, it will just go ahead and highlight the monsters. So you know ahead and you know who to kill. No, no. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It really helps out a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.